Buenos días a todos. Feliz Navidad. Christmas is here. We still have to carry our safe practices, social distancing. Remember to stay at least six feet apart. All right. And don't forget to wash your hands with soap, water, sanitize. Well, it's Christmas time. Don't forget your Christmas because we still live in the hope that Jesus is going to come and we live, um, we live from strength to strength that we are in God's hands. For those of you who haven't started decorating the infants and some classes started this, right? So you would have lit your first candle of Advent is the first week of Christmas. So standard threes, you are going to continue with your 3D art, construction of your 3D art. And we are looking at, we are always here in Parang and we need to acquaint ourselves with the instruments of Parang. So today we are looking at the Quattro, right? So let's start from the beginning here. Okay, so we're doing painting and construction of a 3D shape, which is the quattro. Now, Parangeros, you would see quattro is one of the main instruments that is used in Parang. It's a smaller version to a guitar, a lot smaller. And instead of using six strings, it uses just four. All right. It is a 3D shape. These are different versions of the quattro, different coloration. So you can look and see, you could choose a design, you can create your own quattro. But what is common is it has the body of it. It's a small circle, a bigger circle, and then you have a bigger circle making up the body of the quattro. All right. Also, it has four strings, right? And so today we are going to make that, and a lot of you I can hear already, no way, miss, no, we can't, yes, we can. So I would like you to use two cereal boxes, right? I say cereal boxes because I like the texture of it. Um, do I have any pieces of it here? Yes, I do. I like how it's thin and it's recyclable, right? I like to, I like how it is things that we have around our home. So if you don't have a cereal box, you can use a shoe box. All right. Because I want that consistency and it is easy for you to cut. Now, when you get your circles, check the different sizes, the medium and the, the large, they are not that much different. That's okay. But you see that center part, the smallest one, let it be really small. All right. Now place it in order. So this is the top part of your guitar, right? This is the body and the circle goes in the middle. In that same direction, we can see it here. Okay, top, the middle, the body, right? Now we are going to measure the perimeter of this, the, the quattro. So we can use a string for measurement because if you can't use a ruler to measure a straight surface area. If you have a tape measure, well, the tape measure, you can take your tape measure and you can bend it around the shape. You can use the tape measure, but if you don't have the tape measure, you're going to use your string, get your measurement, place it along the ruler. Now, when I measured mine, First, my ruler only measures up to 30 centimeters. And then I had to add an additional length of 23 centimeters. All right, because I'm measuring along my ruler to give me a total of 53 centimeters. Because I needed to get the other part of my quattro. So I had my faces made. Now I'm doing the perimeter around it, which ended up being 53 centimeters. It will vary depending on yours, your medium size and your large circle put together, you might get around 53, you might get 50, you might get smaller. It depends on the size of the circles that you get. Anyway, so you will decide 
how wide your quattro will be. I'm not being um, particular about it. However, so the width of my quattro is between here to here. But I want a one centimeter border on either sides. And I want you to randomly cut little slits up to that line and then put glue. Now you need to get Elmer's glue to work properly. You gotta leave it to dry just for about five minutes, not for it to dry invisible. But in that way, it is tacky and it is easier to manage. While you're doing that, you cut out the neck, right? Of the quattro, right? And you stick it. Now I double it, huh? I didn't just use one because you don't want it too flimsy. When I say double, again, it means like taking your piece and folding it in half so it wouldn't be too flimsy. But this is just a model we are making, eh? It's a model, right? Okay, so let's get back to this. So notice this is a lot drier. And so you can take it and you can bend it to the shape. So here you can see where we did before, which is the neck and the front. It is stuck down on this side. That's the one centimeter on the inside. And this is the one centimeter on the outside. So now I can stick on the back. I know some of you will say, Miss, this is hard work and stuff. No, you can do all things. You already did. You learned to mean uh, um, we did when we did the uh, Port of Spain waterfront, you made an oval tower. You did um, um, cube, cube boil towers. So you're using the same principles of a 3D shape. However, you are making an irregular shape. And to get the sides, you're cutting your strips and you're bending it into the shape. Now remember the trick with the glue, you cannot stick immediately. You have to leave it to dry, all right? So here we have front and back and here I am holding it down for it to stay into position, right? You will get this little overlap, that's okay. That's okay, you can cut it out afterwards, right? Mixing brown, it's red and yellow and green. However your brown is, if you add a lot more of the green, you'll get it more dark but greeny. If you wanted a light brown, you add more yellow, okay? All right, so now, sorry, I went backwards. So now we are painting the quattro, we're painting the body, right? And we're painting the sides, leave it to dry. Now this process is a little, it takes a little while. Now the treading of the quattro, it's four threads, right? So I pull my thread through my needle, right? So here is my needle. Here is my thread, right? Let me put it there for you to see. Needle and thread, long string. And this is my quattro. So there are four holes. Let me just stop here a minute to show you. Right, that's the quattro in the end. Oh, you stop right there. Now, I know this part might give you some problems. So you could improvise what you want to do, all right? But for those of you who might be a little more skilled with a needle and thread, so there are four strings, four dots. One, two, three, four. So first I started from the top, go through, go down, right? This is a separate piece and I could easily unstick because I use masking tape to hold it, right? And I go through here, go down, up, come through the second one, Right? Then I went across to the top, go down, go through up, down and stick it. I used masking tape in the back and then I painted over it. So this is the model of the quattro. And that is how you can make shapes with anything you want. All you have to do is get the front and the side, get the perimeter around and then you fold it in so that it will fit the top and the side. And there is our 3D shape, for our faces, our edges, right? There are no vertices in this quattro. And we also have a Christmas decoration. So if you want, you could have added, if I pull out some of these leaves, I could add it on. 
it could be part of our your centerpiece home um it is part of our culture our christmas culture all right so i want you to take your time it is a long process because you've got to get that glue to dry also the painting of it when you're painting the front you gotta leave it to dry properly then you paint the sides leave it to dry properly then the back leave it to dry properly all right i know the sewing of it some of you it might be a little bit of a challenge if you could figure out another way of how to do it go right ahead go right ahead because i know that's a skill in itself anyway i want to take this opportunity for all um family members who assisted you with your art piece i'd like to wish you a happy and holy christmas feliz navidad please be safe um, i pray that all of you you're safe in your homes and when you go out don't forget to wear your mask social distancing wash your hands i pray for your safety um, i thank you for your support your work that you have done and that has shown you a resilience where once there is a will, there is a way. And the philosophy of I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. Feliz Navidad.